All right, guys, so the next reading is Psalm 139. So this is David, and David contemplating about God. Um, so he starts off this really big, like, thinking about God in a really big sense. Um, so he talks about how um, God created things and how God is um, just so much larger than we are. Um, he finishes out by kind of narrowing it down and saying, search me, O God. Um, so he talks about how God is a creator and God is um, also a God that knows and sees us. Now, the cool thing that we can get from this um this passage of scripture is just the, knowing how big God is. Okay. So like, um, your, uh, let's just think about like some of the universal things. So like the biggest star that they have found so far, now there could be ones that are bigger. They just haven't found them yet. Um, it's called Canis Majoris it, in Latin means big dog. Um, and it is so big that if the earth were the size of a golf ball, that Canis Majoris would be, um, the size of Mount Everest. Get that in your mind. That is a big star. And God breathed that out. Um, okay, then it talks about him knowing you, that him forming you in the womb, right? So DNA. DNA is one of the most complicated things on the planet. Um, that's something so small that if you were to take um, the DNA out of your body, that it would stretch to the sun and back four times. Um, and yet, it fits within each cell um, of your body, and it describes who you are um, in detail. It's the blueprint of who you are. Um, and it, David says, you knew that. You formed that. You made me. You created me as something special and, to, and, and desirable. So this big God, this God who breathes out stars, actually cares about you. Um, knows you individually. So David finishes out this psalm talking about, search me, know me, um, know my inmost thoughts. It's inviting this intimate relationship with this large scale God um, into your personal life. And that is different than any other faith. Every other faith, you kind of, you pray because you don't want the God to be mad at you and to smite you. You do good things because you don't want the God to be mad at you and to smite you. No other faith invites you to have a personal, deep relationship with the Creator. Um, it's all about kind of just don't get mad. And sometimes we can be tempted to kind of adopt that into Christianity. But here's the truth about it. Christianity is different. And so in Galatians, it actually talks about like, it is not, I'm sorry, Ephesians, um, it is not what you did. It's about what he did. So it's not about like, can I do enough good things to earn God's favor? It's about how can God wants to know me and how can I know who God is? Um, and the way that that happens is through Jesus Christ, through knowing Jesus. That's how we can also know God because he knows you. He made you. He created you. Um, as David said here, um, in such a complicated and special way. Um, so inviting him into your heart, inviting him into your space in a relationship um, is kind of the biggest decision that you could ever make to say, God, I want you to be in control. Um, and that's kind of where Psalm 139 is headed um, into an area of relationship with this creator God, um, which is really cool.